Shibarium is live. You might be wondering what does the first day of Shibarium look like and what can we expect going forward? Well, I have some important updates for you guys discussing what we just saw during the first day of Shibarium being live again and what we can expect to see going forward and why we're seeing Shiba Inu absolutely pumping like crazy. We're going to dive into all these concepts here today. All right, let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, something I want to point out to you guys that's super important super important for you guys to note is that we actually received a, a tweet from the official shiba inu twitter account pointing out the fact that shibarium is live this is something i talked about in my video yesterday once they made shibarium live there was not really a ton of announcement or press circulation with the announcement of shibarium going live which is kind of surprising to me at least for the first couple of hours but they did go ahead put out a tweet highlighting the fact that shibarium is live so that's great for us to see now, what we did also see is some interesting stats during this first day. We're going to talk about those right now. So during the first day, or actually before they even made the announcement, excuse me, before they even made the announcement of Shabam going live, it was live before that. People realized it. People started utilizing the network. We ended up receiving 65,000 different wallets created before they even made the announcement and 350,000 different transactions being processed. Now, what does it look like since that announcement? Let's take a look. So since that announcement came out, we are now sitting at close to 160,000 different wallets and close to 500 or half a million different transactions. So we're seeing definitely a massive movement up. When you look at the wallet change, look at basically 90,000 new wallets being added. Look at transactions, just over 100, 150,000 different transactions. So some massive transaction volume coming in as well as a lot of new wallets being added for the Shibarium network. Now it's interesting to me, at least what I think is interesting, is I would expect to see for every, let's say, one new wallet being added, I'd expect to see like five different transactions. Because what you're going to do is you're going to send money into the network, then maybe you're going to send it over to an exchange to test the network, and then maybe you're going to send it and create a second wallet, right? You're going to see a couple different transactions per wallet, and obviously you're going to have some wallets that are doing 100 transactions, some wallets that are only doing maybe two or three. But I'd, make, I'd expect this ratio to be a lot higher for the new transactions per the new wallets, I expect to see it be a lot higher, but we're still seeing a good amount. Now, what's interesting with this is that this is a lot less than I expected. If I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I expected this number to be over 1 million. You guys can see up in this top left-hand corner, we can see the breakdown of daily transactions. This is going to be surprising. The peak that we saw was 132,000 transactions in a single day, then ended up dropping out to 40,000, and then we're at 60,000 for the other day. So a lot less than a lot of us, including myself, expect. You might be wondering, why is that? Well, I think that there's some delays that people are having, or some people are not also getting notified. So two things. First of all, people still don't know. This announcement post that was put out, yes, it highlighted the fact that this article talked about how the uh, Shibam is now live and then broke it down, all this information. But if you just saw this coming across your timeline, GM said, Army, have you checked out our latest blog post? It doesn't say in all caps, Shabam is live or something like that. We don't have that super well emphasized. Also, when we go ahead and check out, for example, this Twitter account that was supposed to be the official Twitter account for Shibarium updates, we can actually go ahead and see that we've not received any updates here for quite some time. This thing seems to not be active anymore, but I think there's a lot of people that are looking at some of these other channels that maybe are not getting these updates, whereas you would have to actually go over to the Shiba Inu token Twitter account, go through your timeline and just happen to see this post, click on the blog post, go in there, here Shibarium is live. Not great announcement process in my opinion, and they could have done a lot better job with announcing it, all caps, highlighted tweets, because when we look at this tweet, for example, again, and I'm highlighting this a lot because I think this is so important. When we look at the likes and the engagement or the reach that this thing has, 2,000 likes, 115,000 reach. If we go to the post before that, 3,000 likes, over 3,000 likes, almost double the reach. And this was just a scaling update. This was just saying, we're getting close to being ready. That wasn't the we're ready. You can see these other ones. Here's another one, scaling update, almost 5,000. Again, over double the engagement, which is really interesting to me. This other post that they put out, highlighting that Shabam's live, didn't get a ton of reach. And I'm almost wondering, right? This is just a, a theory I have, to be clear, it's a theory. I'm wondering if they're doing this intentionally to limit the rate of people joining the Shabam network. Because if you guys remember, the big problem they ran into was scaling. They had way too many requests flooding their system. Maybe what they're doing here is intentionally trying to get that information out slowly to people. That way they don't get a massive flood and have to shut down Shabam Network again and cause all the FUD. Because I think they know if they run into problems again after relaunching, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a genuine problem. There's a lot of people, including myself, that are willing to forgive them for a slow and the different problems, slow launch and the different problems that they had. But if they go ahead, they relaunch it and they have problems again, 
I don't think a lot of people are going to be wanting to give them a third chance. And so for me personally, I'm going to wait a week probably until I start genuinely getting concerned about these transaction numbers per block. You can see these transactions come in on these different blocks, different blocks showing three transactions, four transactions, five, five. This is a very low number of transactions every block and the average block time, basically five seconds. So you're looking at rough math here of a transaction a second. That is extremely low compared to what this network can handle. In theory, you should be able to handle tens of thousands of transactions every single block. But the good news is that Shiba Inu is up a lot today. We are up currently about two and a half percent on the day. Of course, we were down going down a little bit. So we're actually effectively from the bottom down here up to the top that we saw, basically a 3% price increase. So a nice price increase for Shiba Inu. But the big thing here is the volume increase. Volume up, basically 40% massive spike in volume of Shiba Inu. But what's interesting is that Bone's not really seeing the similar trend. You see Bone up right now about 2.5%. And you're also seeing the volume down right now. Bone volume down is very interesting to me because something I've been predicting is that a lot of people are going to need bone for Shibarium. Or I shouldn't say I'm predicting that. But what I'm predicting is that a lot of people don't have bone right now that are going to need it. What I mean by that, we all know now Shibarium, you have to have bone to do your different transaction fees, as you can see, by these different transaction fee numbers. So if you want to use the Shibarium network, you're going to have to hold bone. But when we go ahead and look at, well, who holds bone, how many people hold bone, you can see right now, still shy of 100,000 people that hold bone. This is a problem in the sense that if we want to get millions of people using the Shibarium network, they need to have bone to use the Shibarium network. If we go ahead and see Shiba Inu, for example, when we look at how many people hold Shiba Inu, it's over 1.3 million different people. You can see that number right there. So when we're looking at this, let's say everybody who held Shiba Inu is going to use Shibarium. That means 1.3 million people have to go ahead and buy bones so they could actually, or I guess 1.2 million people have to buy bones so they could use the Shibarium network. This means that bones should be experiencing higher volume, should be experiencing some price movement. Bone should be doing better than it is. Of course, when we look at a one month chart, bone obviously dipped down about this 115, 120 level. And right now we have gone back up to 130. So it's definitely on a positive trajectory over the past couple weeks, but we're definitely seeing bone struggle more than I expected. And again, this might be due to the fact that a lot of people just still don't know that Shibarium is live. We should be seeing, if we saw basically 60,000 wallets show up within the first day of Shibarium going live, and then now we've been live for basically two days and we've only seen basically 90,000 wallets show up after that, there's a problem here, right? Because the first day that Shibarium was live, it was live for, I believe it was about an hour before they shut it off. So very limited time frame for people to actually sign up for Shibarium. We saw that many wallets in basically an hour, but in the course of two days, we're barely seeing an increase above that. Something just doesn't add up here. And again, I think that goes back to the fact that this is not being pushed super widely, probably to avoid massive spikes of transaction volume, trying to flood the network all at once. If they can get consistent volume coming through, Great, they're fine with that. They can handle that kind of transaction volume on a daily basis, for example. But if they get a ton of volume within a single hour, a ton of transactions, a ton of requests within a single hour, that's when the problem starts to happen. And of course, today is just overall a good day for the crypto markets. You can see Bitcoin up currently 7%. There's off some great Bitcoin news early this morning and the rest of the crypto market also showing up 3 to 5%. So Great news for the overall crypto market. Shabam is live. We're seeing some exciting things happening. If the market overall continues to move positive, Shabam starts to get a bunch of these utilities actually going live. I think Shabam could add so much value for Shiba Inu that is not being tapped into right now. I mean, for example, the great news that we had earlier this morning for Bitcoin is that Grayscale actually won their lawsuit against the SEC, allowing them to convert their Bitcoin future ETF into a spot ETF. We've obviously been talking a lot about Bitcoin ETFs the past month, month and a half, and this could potentially be lining up not only for Grayscale to have a Bitcoin ETF, but BlackRock and Vesco, all these different companies having Bitcoin ETFs, which is going to dramatically increase wide scale crypto adoption, which is going to help all cryptocurrencies. As we saw, a, a rising tide lifts all boats in the scenario. Bitcoin's obviously leading the market right now up 7%, but a lot of others, again, up basically 3 to 5% range. So we can see as more ETFs show up for Bitcoin, BlackRock, things like that, we can see a ton of value being pumped into the overall crypto market, which then people are going to look towards what are the most popular cryptocurrencies. And of course, Shiba Inu is one of the top most popular cryptocurrencies out there. It makes sense that there would be a ton of value going to Shiba Inu into the Shibarium network. Right now, I'm super excited that Shibarium is live. Our fees are currently extremely affordable. You can see these different fees coming through. Basically, one cent, 
less than a fraction of a cent, fraction of a cent, fraction of a cent. Obviously, over time, this is going to increase as we talked about in previous videos. If you haven't seen that, talking about the burn rate and how the base fee is going to be changing over time, make sure you guys check out that video after you're done watching this video. But right now, this is an extremely affordable network, and we're going to be having so many builders coming to the Shabam network. All these different people are going to be building on the Shabam network, which is extremely bullish, in my opinion, for the future of Shabam. You launch a network and you have a large audience, but you have nowhere for them to actually spend their cryptocurrency, you're not going to get any volume long term. It's just going to be a massive problem. Right here, we have Shiba Inu, right? We have the Shiba Inu community, the Shib Army, large audience, large potential, large community that's really interested in the Shibam network. And you also have a bunch of utilities coming in. This is a perfect storm because you also don't want utilities without a community. So we're having utilities, we're having a community, we're having a network that's affordable. This is a great mix for the future of Shiba Inu. And I believe Shibam has so much potential. I just think that maybe as we're going through this, this might take longer for us to really see the potential of Shibam than we had hoped for. A lot of us, including myself, hope to see some results within the first week or two. Start seeing massive transaction volume. Start to see some burn numbers. Start to get better ideas to what this is going to evolve into. I think, unfortunately, we're going to see a lot of these utilities show up over the coming months instead of the coming weeks. We're going to see a lot of people start to utilize Shibam Network over the coming months instead of the coming week. So something that we need to look forward to is maybe we need to start adjusting our time horizons for our expectations for Shibarium. If you want to learn about the amazing potential of the Shibarium burns, make sure you guys go ahead, check out this video up here. Don't listen to all the FUD out there. And if you have not already, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on more content just like this one. And I'll catch you all in the next one.